In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to get a dreamy soft glow effect. So hi guys, welcome back to a new Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny, you can find me on our Facebook page at Retard Pro. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys an awesome effect, how to get a dreamy soft glow onto your images. A lot of you users actually requested this, so here's the tutorial for you guys. Let's get started. Okay, so as you guys can see, I've already loaded the image here into Photoshop into my first layer. I'm gonna double tap on here and just rename that to basic. Okay, now the first step that I wanna do before getting a dreamy glow, I wanna just blur the background a little bit. So just make him a little bit more or less sharp. So just giving it a bit of a blur. I'm gonna press Command J, duplicate that layer, and we can write here just blur, I'm going to give that a small Gaussian Blur filter effect. So we're going to go to Filter, we're going to go to Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Now as well, I've tried this before in the other tutorials, so what I'm going to do as well is also give this around 24 pixels. So I don't want to blur too much. Round about, yeah, say 24 to 25 megapixels here. I'm going to hit OK for that. That is rendering for us. And now the next step that I want to do is also create a mask on that. Obviously she is also blurred now. So I'm going to hold Alt and create a hidden mask on that, so everything is visible again. Next step, I want to take my brush, also make my brush just a little bit bigger over here. Let's say the size. I'm also working with a Continuous 5 tablet, so I'm also able via my tablet to make my brush a little bit bigger. You can also hold Control Alt together, go left and right and make your brush bigger like that. I'm going to go up and down also to make my hardness almost say to 80%, somewhere around that. I'm still holding Control and Alt and my opacity at the moment is 0 or 0 0.7 so I can take it up to 100% and now with white foreground color we can obviously on the mask just quickly brush in the effect here and I want to go basically just over all over the person also a little bit here over the back okay and that is a little bit too heavy already so what I want to do is press Control alt again and just also make the hardness a little bit softer here again say around 30% yeah also making the brush size a little bit smaller again so I can easily paint in here go all the way around here okay and blur quality is still way too hard so what we're going to do after this we're going to take the opacity down a little bit now before I do that even I also want to go and take this my opacity from the brush down first of all maybe also somewhere around just 50 percent okay there we go and I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer here with a Z, zoom in a little bit closer so I can just go around her face. Press B for brush and as well go pretty much close in here. Okay, and I don't want to blur her face. I just want to blur all the little extra parts here. Bear in mind, again, this is a tutorial. I'm doing this pretty quick. Please do take a bit more time when you do this yourself. Okay, so blur this pretty much as well over there. And we have a look over here. So again, going around the hair a little bit. Okay, a little bit in here. Again, you guys can see it's a softer blur. Okay, let's zoom out again. And I'm pretty happy, maybe here is a little bit. Blur is for this. Okay, pretty happy with that. Next step that I'm going to do is also take the opacity just a little bit down. So maybe to 60% somewhere over there. So it's not too strong. Yeah, around 68%. Okay, so that's just the first step already to just separate the person in the back a little bit from the front person here, from the lady. So it's a little bit more dreamier, the guy's somewhere in the distance and she's thinking about it and whatever, just getting a little bit of that dreamy feel. Okay, let's also just go back here to our mask. I'm going to press B for brush again, make it a little bit bigger, my brush. And also very softly just degrade over here, just letting that whole blur here affect a little bit also her coat here. Okay, a little bit further, and I'm just painting roughly through this. Okay, so I'm happy with that now. So for my next step that I also want to do is brighten up the whole image a little bit and get a little bit of whites in and make everything a little bit more dreamy. So for that, I'm going to go back to Adjustments over here, and we're going to select a Curves Adjustment Layer. So that will load for us. We can also open, make this a little bit bigger here. And now the only thing that I want to do in Curves is basically take all my dark sides down here and push them all the way up. So we're really brightening this up quite a lot. Maybe even a little bit further. And somewhere over here, that looks around nice. So I'm pretty happy once we have it over here. 
Okay, so the next step that I also want to do now, I'm not even doing a curve or anything, I just want to brush this out a little bit. So it's obviously I don't want it too much affecting her. And it does look a little bit hard, so what I'm going to do is also take the opacity down to maybe just 60, oh sorry, 80... 86%, 85%. Have a look here before and after, before and after. And I also showed this in my latest tutorial about color grading. I talked a little bit about taking just your dark sides, pushing them up to get a dreamy look if you want to have a look under that tutorial. Anyways, okay, so next step that I want to do as well is take my brush again and paint certain things out again. So I don't want to have her too white on this side and onto the foreground. So just having more white in the back and giving a dreamy feel to the back. So that's also the nice thing. We have a mask here. Again, we can with B take our brush, switch foreground colors because we obviously just have a normal white mask. Now this time I'm going to work. Yeah, let's start out with 100% opacity. And we're literally just going to brush a little bit over her face. Again, my hardness here is set as well to 32% and diameter obviously changes again. Then also to feather this, yeah, say around 30% hardness. Okay, so first of all I'm going to give this a try, just brushing her out a little bit here. Okay, a little bit further and that is a little bit too hard if you ask me. So I'm going to do this roughly now and then paint her back in again. Okay, so a little bit over here, chin as well, and then over here let's just give this roughly and then afterwards you fix stuff again. Okay, so what I do now is press X again, so switching foreground colors, which basically means we're painting in again, and as well I'm going to change the opacity just to say 20%, or maybe even let's start out with 15%. Okay, so I'm going to make my brush super big, hardness as well, let's have a look that the hardness is almost set to zero, and your brush should be super big for this. So literally you're going to just make one big consistent stroke now over this. As you guys can see it already gets a little bit brighter, the same I'm going to do over her face, and as well for the back as well. So a little bit just painting all of that back. So the whole glow kind of goes around her and wraps a little bit more around her. Okay, once more. Okay, and that Photoshop is rendering for us. As you guys can see, it also spills really nicely over here now. Maybe a little bit still in here. Okay, and a little bit down here at the back. A little bit more. And now next step that I also want to do is just switch again X, foreground colors, and literally just brush her out a bit. So this is also quite hard getting it perfect, so try to paint in, paint out until you're happy with your effect. Okay, so I'm just giving it one or two more brushes and then I'm actually done. Okay, so as you guys can also see here on the right hand side, you can actually see how we actually brush this now. So again, I'm going to show you guys the before and after, before and after. Okay, so the next step that I also want to do now is get a little bit of a better color feel and color grade for this image. So I'm going to go back again to adjustments and we're going to go back to selective color. We showed this last week as well. And in here again, we're going to work first of all just in our neutral tones. But I don't want to work too much now. We obviously have a lot of yellow and green already. So I just want to work a little bit my yellows. So maybe push them up just a little bit, like plus two or one. Like literally just a little bit, plus two, that's already a little pop already for just the yellows. And then as well also take my blacks here down a little bit, just to brighten that stuff up a little bit. Yeah, and give it a bit of a push. So minus four, yeah, I'm pretty happy with minus four already. So again, as you guys can see, already a little bit of a small little glow here. Okay, but that's still not enough. Let's go to our black sliders here, our black color channels. And in blacks, we're also going to push this a little bit further. First of all, I want to add a little bit of magenta here to also my shadows and the black side. So I'm going to take magentas all the way up, maybe just to plus 5, 6, and a little bit further, plus 11. That looks really nice. So plus 11, somewhere around there. Okay, as well, let's give it a try if we take our blacks up a little bit. So making it a little bit more dreamier, so we're pushing them again a little bit into some white areas. So minus 7, that looks pretty nice. Okay, let's have a look also now at our before and after. So again, our before and after, before and after. Okay, so we're getting there almost now with adding a bit of a new color grade and a little bit of a dreamy feel. But somehow it does feel a little bit still that I'm missing. I actually want to add a little bit more glow here and also on the back. So I've got a very simple technique for that. 
So we're basically just going to go down here, create a new empty layer, and I'm just going to write here glow as well. So this is another new layer where we basically just with a white foreground color with a very low opacity, say around, yeah, let's give it a try with 20% opacity. Okay, and we're going to make our brush super big as well, like this. I'm going to hold Control Alt together again because I want to see my hardness. It should be set to zero, please. And then as well, yeah, you can change your opacity here to 20%. So I'm going to make just a normal dot over here. Maybe make your brush a little bit bigger. So just literally brushing in a little bit of white over here. Okay, as you guys can see already, there we're getting another nice punch. And also over here, one small stroke. So don't be punchy about this, just the little small spots. Okay, maybe over here a little bit, so I'll tap just once more again, getting another small glow over there. And now what I want to do is also with this glow layer, I just want to take it down a little bit until I think, hey, this looks great, I'm going to keep it over there. So around 57, 52%, let's have a look, before and after, before and after. And this is obviously your personal taste again. If you want to do it stronger, if you want to do it a little bit less, go ahead. So I'm pretty happy now actually with this. Okay, so that's just my normal glow layer. But I'm still missing a little bit of an extra punch here. So what I want to do is go again back into my selective color and also just push it a little bit further with color grade. So I'm going to go back to adjustments here, color, selective colors over here, and we're going to go again into our neutral tones. Okay, so in the neutral tones, let's play also a little bit with our cyan. Let's take them down a little bit. So maybe cyan is minus 5, minus 4, to just get a little bit of a yellow, greenish, yeah, dreamy look to this. Again, the magentas, also let's take them up. Mm, not too good, so maybe down a little bit, just to minus 2, minus 3. This is obviously very personal taste as well. If you like it more green, more blue, go ahead. This is just my way of doing it. Okay, also my yellows, let's push them up a little bit warmer. Say plus 13, yeah, well, it's taking a little bit further now. Let's say plus 13, plus 12, okay, and I'm going to take the blacks down a little bit, brighten them a little bit more. Minus 3, somewhere around there, that looks around nice. I'm going to go back to the yellows and just push them down a little bit again, just to plus 10. Okay, let's have a look again, it's very important, go back and forth in your layers. Again, before and after, before and after, a little bit of a yellowish tint to that as well. If you're still not too happy with it, you can maybe also just take your opacity just down a little bit. I'm going to take it just to 80, 87% before and after, before and after. Okay, great. So the next step that I also want to do as well is just add a last little pop here with a little dodge and burn. So I'm going to go and create a new layer. I'm going to press M for marking tool, going to select my whole canvas. Again, marking tool. I'm going to set right click, say fill and also fill this content area with 50% gray under contents. Okay, that will be obviously set to gray. You guys must probably know about these dodge and burn techniques. We did a tutorial about that as well. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my blending options here and switch that to soft light. So it's a little bit softer. I can now also press Command D to get out of the selection. Now next step, again, B for brush, Control Alt again together, still keeping and holding them. I'm going to take it a little bit down here, my brush size as well, hardness to 0%. Okay, take it a little bit down. Obviously, I'm able to change my brush size really quickly here via the wheels. You guys can also use the brackets up and down. Okay, next step, I'm going to go to 0.7%. Literally just switching my foreground colors now. And I'm just brushing her eyebrows a little bit, giving her a little bit of a pop here. Darkening that a bit. Also her eyes to let that pop a bit of the makeup here little areas around the lips, not too much, just literally a little bit. Also the cheek here, just darkening that a bit. On the hair I'm a little bit rougher and just literally brushing that in a little bit over here. Okay, just giving that a bit of contrast as well. Okay, a little bit over here. That's already all. I'm going to switch again with X, foreground color, so I'm white. Okay, and now on the hair, just giving that a bit of a pop here. And if you want, you can also try to use a little curves adjustment layer here just to brighten and pop up your image a little bit further. But so far I'm pretty happy actually with this. I'm going to make the brush a little bit bigger. Okay, and if you want to extend the dreamy look as well, bear in mind you can also do this now with the brush. I can also just paint a little bit over here that will brighten this area again and a little bit over here again with your dodge and burn. Okay, so that is basically all already I did now for this little dreamy effect. 
Let's have a last look here at our before and after. I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller. If you want to, you can also still rename your layers and also put them all together in a group, which I'm going to do now. Just select it all with Shift, pressing Command G. I'm going to write here Effect. Okay, and that is already my glow effect. Okay, so let's have a look here, reflect back. So that is our, again our before and after, before and after. Obviously, this whole effect is quite strong. If you want to, you can also still take this group down a little bit. So your effect is overall also a little bit less. So 90% again before and after. Yeah, okay, so that is basically all for today's Photoshop tutorial, guys. Dreamy soft glow effect, super simple and easy. Anyone can apply this. Then as well, if you have any requests for future upcoming episodes for Photoshop tutorials, let us know in the comments down below. Then as well, don't miss out on Thursday. We have a question and answer day with Cass Photography, our awesome fashion and beauty instructor at Retard Pro. That's all from me this week. I'm signing out and I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Bye-bye.